Well, good morning. So today I've come out into a local woodland and obviously the reason is we're in the middle of autumn at the minute and it's, it's absolutely fantastic in this woodland. It's pretty close to me so I can get to it reasonably quickly. On top of that, I'm preparing to go away for another trip so I had to come somewhere local because I've had a lot to prepare and a lot to get ready. I was here the other day doing a video for a client so I thought I'd return to this area because when I was here the other day the colours were just fantastic and I saw a couple of images I wanted to return to so I've come back today to walk through the process with you guys because I think it's sort of the peak colour through here at the minute. There's a couple of areas I want to really explore through here. An image I captured the other day I wanted to come back to because I, I thought I could do better than it. I just wanted to move a little bit further across. Today though, I'm, I'm not so sure about the light. It's quite a bit windier in here. Um, so I might have a bit of trouble trying to stop that movement in the leaves. It's obviously going to mean higher ISOs for me today because the, it's, it's just a lot darker in here. Hopefully though, while we're in here I'll be able to wait a little while and actually hopefully we'll get some breaking sunlight coming through from above but it's pretty overcast today. But what I'll do is I'm going to sort out my composition, I'll get you to the back of the camera and I'll start walking you through what interested me about this scene in the first place. So hopefully you can see what's drawn me to this scene. I kind of like the way this branch is coming off this main tree here this tree in the centre of the frame, that's going to be my main sort of subject. And you see the branch that's kind of leading down and trailing down onto the ground with all those lovely coloured leaves. That's the other part of the image I really, really like. It's got that lovely curve about it. And it's almost like a window to all the foliage that lies beyond and all the different colour that lies beyond through there. It's almost framing all of that. Now what I'm having to do is actually lower my camera because I want to get a bit more of this ground in and a bit more of the leaves in. The problem I'm going to have, I'm going to have to uh, put a circular polarizer on because there's quite a bit of glare every now and then off these leaves and it's distracting in places. So I'm going to put a circular polarizer on just to take not all of it but take a little bit of that edge off. Um, the other thing I might try as well is I might try an image with a black mist filter and without it as well and see which one I prefer when I get it back in front of the big screen. The black mist sometimes helps just to give you that little bit more atmosphere but I'll wait around today and see what the light's going to do because the light might actually allow me to get more of an atmosphere in here anyway so I might not need that at all but we'll experiment and see what works with both. So hopefully you can see what happens when I pop this polarizer on. Actually, before I put it on, you can see how much glare there is along the bottom of the frame there. If I pop this on, and I start to turn, you can see there's still quite a bit of glare there, but as I turn the polarizer, it all but eliminates it. And you can see how much those colors start to pop and they're really much more vibrant. So I don't want to get rid of all of that, I just want to get rid of a little bit of that glare, so I'll just turn it to the point where it's almost gone but not quite, so I've got a little bit of sheen left on the leaves, but that colour's still nicely saturated there. Now hopefully what you can see, where I've got this tree on the right hand side of the frame here, what I'm really trying to do is make sure that there's no overlap in the, in the rest of the trees that go behind it, so that there's separation, a good separation in those trees and that separation kind of gives me the depth that I'm after in this image. I really want to give it, although I'm focusing on the colours, I really want the image to have some sort of depth and dimension so if I can separate those trees as much as possible that'll actually give me that. So the next thing I'm going to try is the black mist filter and I'm going to use a half a stop there's not a great deal of light in here, so I'm going to have a little experiment and see what this looks like. So what you do is, it's not like a CPL where you have to turn it to actually get the effect. You basically just get the filter and pop it on the front and that's the effect applied straight away. So when you look through now, what you should notice is that you've got more of an ethereal feel to it. It's got more of a cinematic look. It dulls the colours slightly and it, it just gives it an almost 
well, obviously mist, but it, it's got that sort of really atmospheric look about it. It's definitely worth experimenting with. And maybe when the light's not so great like this, it's maybe worth trying something like this just to see if it works. But I'll show you both of these files, both of them raw, so you get the idea, so there's not been processed at all, both with the same settings, and you'll see the difference between the two files, one with it and one without. Now when using these black mist filters or even just a standard CPL, what I really recommend you do is not to solely rely on those filters and what I mean by that is always make sure you take multiple versions of the image. So take a shot with a polarizer, take the shot without the polarizer. Take a shot with the black mist and take a shot without it. Because you have to remember that that is going to be baked into your file and there's nothing you can do to remove it. So always make sure to have multiple versions just in case you get it back on the big monitor and you don't like what you see. Okay, so hopefully now we've got that shot in the bag. If the shot's turned out all right, I'll pop the final image up now. Okay, so I'm happy with the way this shot's gone. I want to really make the most of this today because while I've been in here, even, even just today, the wind's actually taken a lot of this colour and a lot of these leaves away. So I don't know how much longer we're going to have. I was kind of hoping by the time that I went on this next trip up to Scotland that we were still going to have some fall colour up there, but the way things are going, it may not happen. So I need to make the most of it now. So we're going to finish here have a wander around this woodland, see what else I can find. When I get to something that's actually gonna work, I'll catch up with you then. Well guys, sorry I didn't find another image. A storm blew in and it was absolutely horrific in those woods. And now I'm starting to lose the light and now it's finally dried up. So unfortunately that's gonna be it this week. Really sorry it's a short video. Hope you've enjoyed it though. And I'll hope to see you on the next video. Take care guys, see you soon, bye bye. <laughs>